declare Christ's message. Acts chapter 11 and verse 14. He will tell you how you and everyone in your household can be saved. The text describes an event that was life-changing affair for Peter, the disciple of Jesus. Peter was at Simon the Tanner's house and he was hungry and saw a vision of animals being let down in sheet and God declaring him to kill and eat. Peter refused it since they were unclean animals. The vision appeared three times. While he grappled with the dream, he had a knock on the door and men from Cornelius' house had come to invite Peter to Joppa. When Peter went to Cornelius' house, he saw people gathered eagerly to hear from him. These Gentiles knew Peter had the news about life in God. They intently listened to the message of the good news and turned their hearts to Jesus. Though initially hesitant, Peter found God impartial and the Gentiles were filled with the Holy Spirit as they trusted Jesus and began to speak in tongues. He marveled at it. His personal bias and opinions found no place in God's intervention. This message of God's unconditional love is often unconditioned because of our limited, narrow-minded thinking. Our only goal is to declare the message of Christ and it is His duty to draw them to Him. He needs us to talk to people about Him. We have to be the mouthpiece and an ambassador for the Lord. It is He who transforms heart and not our communication skills or our gifts. It is God and God alone. Therefore, do not hesitate to declare Christ's message. Amen.